The ancient Greek civilization, spanning from the 8th century BC to the conquests of Alexander the Great in the 4th century BC, was a crucible of cultural, political, and economic innovation. This video delves into the intricate financial tapestry of ancient Greece, examining the sources of revenue, economic activities, currency, financial policies, and their profound impact on the societal and cultural fabric of this influential civilization. Sources of revenue. Ancient Greek city-states derived their revenue from a myriad of sources, reflecting the diverse economic activities across the region. Foremost among these was agriculture, a fundamental pillar of the Greek economy. The fertile soil of regions such as the Peloponnese and Thessaly facilitated the cultivation of staple crops like wheat, barley, olives, and grapes. The surplus agricultural produce not only sustained local populations, but also became a key commodity for trade, contributing to the overall wealth of the city-state. Trade and commerce formed another critical source of revenue for ancient Greece. Geographical factors, including an extensive coastline and proximity to the Mediterranean, facilitated maritime trade. Prominent city-states like Athens and Corinth established robust trading networks, engaging in the exchange of goods and services with other regions. The Mediterranean Sea served as a vital conduit for this economic exchange, fostering growth and prosperity. Industrial activities also played a significant role in the Greek economy. City-states engaged in craftsmanship, producing goods such as pottery, textiles, and metalwork. The demand for these products extended beyond the borders of Greece, contributing to the economic vitality of the city-states involved in these industries. Tribute and taxation were additional sources of revenue, with city-states employing various mechanisms to fund their activities. Athens, for example, imposed a tribute on its Delian League members, creating a substantial income stream. However, the Athenian exploitation of smaller allies for economic gain eventually led to tensions and conflicts within the League, revealing the complexities inherent in such financial arrangements. Economic activities. The economic landscape of ancient Greece was diverse, reflecting the geographical and climatic variations that characterized different city-states. Agriculture, as a primary economic activity, determined the wealth and social status of individuals. Land ownership played a crucial role, with a wealthy elite controlling vast estates worked by slave labor. The socioeconomic hierarchy was thus deeply intertwined with the agrarian economy. Trade and commerce flourished, driven by the maritime prowess of Greek city-states. Athens, with its powerful navy, controlled key sea routes, facilitating extensive maritime trade. The Agora, a central marketplace, was the bustling heart of economic activity in many city-states. Here, merchants, craftsmen, and farmers converged to exchange goods and services, fostering a sense of community and interdependence. Craftsmanship and artistry were highly valued in ancient Greece, contributing to both the domestic and international economy. Skilled artisans produced exquisite pottery, sculptures, and textiles, which found a ready market beyond Greek borders. The economic prosperity derived from these industries allowed for the patronage of the arts, with wealthy citizens sponsoring cultural events and commissioning works of art that have left an enduring legacy. Currency. The monetary system of ancient Greece was diverse, with each city-state mending its own coins. The use of coins revolutionized trade by providing a standardized medium of exchange. The drachma, a silver coin, emerged as a common currency, though its value varied across different city-states. Uh, Athens, for instance, minted its own distinctive owl-shaped tetradrachms, which gained widespread recognition and acceptance in the ancient world. The symbolism on these coins was not merely functional, but also deeply reflective of the city-state's political and cultural identity. Images of local deities, mythological figures, or significant events adorn the currency. 
underscoring the interconnectedness of economic and cultural aspects in ancient Greece. The use of coinage not only facilitated trade, but also served as a powerful tool for city-states to convey their values and ideals. Financial policies and governance. The financial policies of ancient Greece were intricately tied to the unique political structures of its city-states. Athens, a democracy, made financial decisions collectively, with citizens actively participating in the governance of the state. Elected officials, accountable to the assembly, managed the finances and implemented policies that reflected the will of the people. Other city-states such as Sparta operated under oligarchic systems where a small group of elite citizens held sway. In these cases, financial decisions were often concentrated in the hands of a council of aristocrats and policies were geared towards maintaining a formidable military and upholding a rigid social order. The Delian League, initially formed as a defensive alliance against Persian invasion, evolved into a mechanism of Athenian hegemony. Athens, through its control of the League, exerted significant influence over the finances of member states. However, this hegemony, marked by the imposition of heavy tributes and the exploitation of allies, eventually led to uh, tensions and conflicts within the League, illustrating the intricate interplay between financial policies and geopolitical dynamics. Impact on society and culture. The financial landscape of ancient Greece left an indelible mark on the social and cultural fabric of the civilization. The prominence of agriculture and trade contributed to the emergence of a merchant class, challenging traditional notions of social hierarchy based solely on birth. The Agora, with its vibrant marketplace, became a melting pot of social interaction where individuals from different classes converged, fostering a sense of community and interdependence. The economic prosperity of certain city-states, notably Athens during its golden age, had a profound impact on cultural and intellectual pursuits. The flourishing of philosophy, drama, and architecture marked this period. Wealthy citizens, often through their contributions to the state treasury, sponsored cultural events and commissioned works of art, leaving a lasting legacy that continues to shape our understanding of ancient Greek civilization. However, the economic disparities between the rich and the poor also engendered social unrest. The concentration of wealth in the hands of a small elite led to tensions that occasionally erupted into conflicts. The Peloponnesian War, a protracted and devastating conflict between Athens and Sparta, had economic factors at its core, revealing the complex relationship between financial policies and the stability of the Greek city-states. The financial landscape of ancient Greece was a dynamic and multifaceted tapestry, reflecting the diverse economic activities and political structures across city-states. From the fertile fields of the Peloponnese to the bustling marketplaces of Athens, economic endeavors were deeply interwoven with the societal, political, and cultural evolution of this extraordinary civilization. The use of currency, diverse sources of revenue, and financial policies not only shaped the prosperity of individual city-states, but also left an enduring legacy that continues to influence contemporary societies. By examining the financial intricacies of ancient Greece, we gain valuable insights into the complex interplay between economics, politics, and culture, providing a deeper understanding of the forces that propelled this remarkable civilization to unprecedented heights and laid the foundations for Western civilization.